working with other people of color, like working with clients or of color, I felt people trying to maybe impress me in some way, like um, feeling like they have to appear or present a particular way because why am I in the chair of the patient and we look exactly alike and you're in the chair of the therapist, maybe I should be doing better, I should be in a better place or more elevated place or something or I sit with people and they try to intellectualize and I'm a very uh, conversational person very down to earth um, and I think part of that is my education uh, because prep kind of teaches you to be human in the craft um, first because we are people like everyone else I'm dealing with our own stuff uh, and then I have to clarify like no I understand I'm here to support I'm not here to judge or uh, be biased or tell you to be better <laughs> literally just here to be a supportive person and help people progress at the rate they should progress at um, according to them <laughs> according to their readiness um, or what they're open to or what, what they're open to being challenged to do um, so I think my challenge is have mostly been resistance or people thinking that I have expectations of them, especially when we look the same. I'm learning that it's one thing to be knowledgeable about um, like diagnoses and uh, protocol and things like that. Um, but there are nuances to different cultures. Um, and I think being open to those nuances and being open to learning about those is really helpful in populations of color. Um, I even had to catch myself working with a couple with an ACS case and with a woman was, um, I would say Asian and her husband was a black male and they had an ACS case. And I told my supervisor, I was like, I think he might be abusive. This woman is really timid, you know. And she had to check me and say, well, did you ever consider that in a relationship in particular cultures, this is this might be how people present. <laughs> you know, it may not necessarily be a sign of abuse. It might be a cultural thing and to be aware of that. Um, and so just to go back to your question, I find that even in communities of color, if people who are not black or not clinicians of color, just to be open to the nuances of the culture, be mindful of diagnoses and all those things because those are important and to know how people present, but to also say, well, these are the circumstances that might bring up these certain these behaviors. Um, and so I might have to interact with people or understand people in a different way because of those nuances. And then to also maybe understand um, privilege, because in some instances, I mean, we are already in a position of privilege as clinicians, right? Because we, we can say something and write it down and it, it's almost like it becomes truth or fact. Um, but when we, I don't know, when you, when you bring race and racial relations and the way it is in this, the state of the world <laughs> in the country at the moment um bring that into a situation where someone is already in a position of power it's like we'll understand too um the way i speak to someone or the way i engage with someone um could make them feel a particular way because i'm already in a position of power in in several ways <laughs>